What is going on world? Welcome back once again. My name is Zach Novak and this is Zach Novak Plates Games, or slightly late Novak. In today's video we got Zor's location and inventory, all intros and I hope you certainly do enjoy. Alrighty, getting straight into this video, Zorin himself is chilling at the tower this week in the hangar. So once you have this actually spawned in, simply head in this direction, follow where I'm actually going in the pathway, and you'll actually get to the good old tentacle bastard. Let us see, does he have anything good this week? If fingers crossed, it is actually something we kind of want. Perhaps this is why the Nine sent me here. Perhaps it is actually indeed so. This week in itself actually isn't horrible. Now let's start things off with first off the Ashen Wake for the Titan. 23 legendary shards for this pretty fun actual exotic gauntlets. I will actually state this thing actually is pretty cool. Main perk also being bring the heat. Fusion grenades now explode on impact and gain increased throw speed. This thing in itself is honestly very nice. Pretty beastly and honestly it's actually alright with the good old stat perks on it. I will actually state 48 is kind of low but it is actually still pretty good for some of these actual exotics. Next up though. Once again though, the Ashen Wake is 23 legendary shards for the Titan. Next up though, we've got ourselves the Stag for the Warlock, also being 48 with the total stats. However, this thing in itself being called the Stag is actually pretty freaking cool and dearly departed being its main perk. Grants Rift Energy when you are critically wounded. On your death creates a healing rift on your corpse. This thing's very unique, very um... I guess situational in a lot of things. This thing actually just looks pretty freaking cool in all aspects. That's one of the reasons why I really actually just like this aesthetically. This thing is honestly pretty freaking beastly. Pick it up if you have not got it. 20 legendary shards. It is actually pretty good in crucible and also fairly decent in PVE with nightfalls. Once again though, 23 legendary shards. Moving on though, next up we've got ourselves the Mechanese Trick Sleeves for the Hunter or Huntress. 48 total stats and 20 legendary shards for this exotic that I actually really actually like. Spring loaded mounting is its main perk. Increased sidearm ready and reload speed. While you're critically wounded, swapping to a sidearm increases its damage. This thing in itself honestly is really freaking fun. Honestly, fairly beastly, especially for the fact of of sidearms are actually pretty decent now and this in itself honestly is really freaking cool i like this hopefully you guys like it as well 20 legendary shards for your hunter or huntress pick it up if you have not got it moving on though next up we've got ourselves the good old jade rabbit this weapon in itself is honestly basically the scout rifle for 29 legendary shards main perk on it being called of course fate of all fools it does chain body shots to gain bonus damage on your next precision shot and return ammo to the magazine this thing in itself honestly is just pretty OP in honestly all kind of classes both PvE and PvP this thing is definitely nice I actually really like this thing and it looks pretty cool with certain ornaments on it I will actually state this thing is pretty freaking beastly pick it up if you have not got it 29 legendary shards but moving on next up we've got ourselves the consumables the five of swords challenge card this allows you to make your challenging knife for more challenging by adding challenging modifiers the already challenging knife to make that challenging knife or more the challenging modifiers more challenging it also allows you to get more challenging loot more challenging scores and all around have more fun this thing allows you to also tailor made your knife falls do you like to have more arc damage do you want to throw more grenades do you want to be able to actually get your health back when you sprint well this thing itself can actually do that there is a bunch of different things you can actually change out on this actual challenge card i myself honestly really freaking like it it is honestly amazingly decent and it definitely makes night falls more fun and definitely more challenging with those more challenging challenges. Once again, pick it up if you have not got it. Moving on though, next up, we've got ourselves the Isochronal Engram, aka the Fated Engram. This thing in itself will decrypt into an exotic you do not actually own unless you own all exotics from the kiosk. This thing is 97 legendary shards, so actually spend your shards wisely when you are picking these up. I myself am definitely going to pick it up for you, my hunter and see what I actually get. Hopefully I can get something good. I got myself the Faux Tracer, that in itself is 
something I do actually already have. However, it could actually have better perks on it. Let us have a look at those perks. This one I've actually got at the moment has 23. And this one I've got has 61. Okay, that is a big jump. Wow. All right. Well, I, I'm freaking just, I'm really, I'm really happy about that. My audio messed up there. Hopefully it doesn't mess up my current recording. Anyway, this thing in itself, Faux Tracer is honestly really beastly and with 61, like this thing actually is a lot better than what I expected, especially for the fact of, well, I can actually put an intellect mod onto it to actually increase it even more. Let us just go ahead and do that because I want to see what this this thing will actually be like with, well, you know, more actual intellect, which is always fun. Anyway, what do we get? We get ourselves up to 71. That actually is really freaking decent for the Faux Tracer. I am definitely going to keep that. Holy hype. I'm pretty happy with that. Anyway, this has been Zor's location and in terms of the weekend, this has actually been Zor's loot, all these good stuff, his exotics, his consumables, don't worry about the invitation because that's old anyway for me. If you guys do have an invitation, go ahead and pick up the invitation because it's more stuff you can get from Zor. But also, go ahead and pick up that actual Isochronal Engram because it honestly is pretty freaking decent, pretty nice, and honestly, I... I'm really happy with that. It's cool. Anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, click that like button down below. Let me just switch this out. Yeah, 825. That, that's cool. Anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. This has been Souls Location, Inventory, all that stuff. Location, Inventory, and good stuff. I've thrown it on grams. I'm pretty freaking over the moon about that faux trace. I'm definitely going to actually keep that on my hunter. Anyway, this has been Zach Novak. This has been Souls Location. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, click that like button down below. Leave a comment. Let me know, did you guys actually get anything cool from Zor? Was there anything awesome that you were hoping you would actually get from Zor that you did actually get from the Isaac Chronal Engram? Let me know if you guys actually got something awesome once again this has been zach novak once again this has been source location and inventory if you have enjoyed the video click the like button down below do all the good stuff and read sharon like karen if he was at sharon but if you are a new viewer maybe hit that subscribe button if you are a subscriber and you want to stay up to date to my actual content hit that bell notification do what shia says in the corner click the like button subscribe to the channel until next time this has been zach novak do all that good stuff and i'll be sharing like karen if he was at sharon but until next time, this is Zach Novak, signing off. Peace out.